The way my therapy worked is they did a lot of supplements and food to help the body detox cancer cells. I had all these pills that I was supposed to take in. I was up to 70 pills a day. I said, well, it's no big deal. You made me smart, God. I'm gonna get out of this on my own. As a nurse and nutritionist, Vanya's faith was in the medical community. Like the Gospel's account of the woman with the issue of blood, Vanya would suffer many things from many physicians until she had the faith to reach out to Jesus for her healing. This is the story of how the friends and partners of Andrew Womack Ministries helped one woman from McAllen, Texas break free of ovarian cancer. This is the healing journey of Vanya Curry. A lot of my story started when my husband was diagnosed with cancer. I helped my husband get enrolled in a program. You eat a very simple diet of organic vegetables. Uh, it involves um, supplements and, uh, and detoxing. So I watched him do that and I watched him be successful. And a couple years later, I just started getting fat, but only in one area. I thought she looked like she was four months pregnant. Being a neonatal nurse for all these years, I know what pregnant women look like, so there was a problem. They did a sonogram and she had this large water blister wrapped around one of her ovaries. The blood test said it wasn't cancer, and so he said, let's just do um, a cystectomy. Let's take the cyst out. We went through that procedure and I just went to the follow-up alone and he sat next to me because these are my friends. And um, he said, you have cancer. And he goes, I'm so sorry. On the way home, I just said out loud in my car, you made me smart, God. I'm going to get out of this on my own. While the initial diagnosis was an ovarian cyst, Vanya's pathology report revealed the growth to be a cancerous granulosa cell tumor, which indicated that her blood had been contaminated with cancer cells. Knowing the horrible side effects of chemotherapy, Vanya opted to try the same treatment that had healed her husband years prior a holistic method known as the Gerson therapy. In hopes to rid the body of toxins and strengthen the immune system, the Gerson therapy requires a daily routine of drinking 20 pounds of crushed fruits and vegetables, spending hours and hours in detox therapy, and consuming dozens of vitamins, supplements, and enzymes. She was so regimented about the, you know, every supplement and every, you know, doing so many detox sessions a day that the therapy, the solution, just consumed everything that she did. This was, this one of these was, the, I would just take handfuls of these every day. I mean, there's like 70 some supplements and so you can't take them all together. You're constantly preparing either food or juices or getting ready for your detoxes. My body was like overcome with parasites. My doctors, like only really sick people have that. Are you doing everything in the protocol just right? And I'm like, I am doing everything textbook perfect. We talked to this doctor in another country and he was supposed to be having all the latest information and to help her and it was not helping. What we were seeing, we weren't winning. but we wouldn't speak it because we just wouldn't. Months passed and Vanya's condition was only getting worse. Knowing her days were numbered, she was desperate to try anything. And in the middle of a detox session, researched bentonite clay 
at the suggestion of a doctor. It was in this search that she would find the key to her healing, just not in the way she had ever imagined. I'm laying on the floor, so I sideways, I hit the wrong button, and Nikki Ochinski pops up on my screen. She's, you know, oh, she's so happy, and she's so perky, and I'm thinking, when is she gonna start talking about clay? When the doctor finally came out, he goes, oh, Nikki, what happened? Jesus healed me like I told you he was going to. I'm like, this is too good to be true, you know? So I type in Nikki Ochinsky's obituary. When I typed that in, I didn't get anything except more testimonies and this guy, Andrew Womack. Vanya looked up Andrew Womack and discovered a ministry full of resources, including a daily television program, dozens of healing testimonies, and a Bible college. Although she was already a Christian, Vanya had never heard the truth that God wanted her well, and from that moment on, was determined to get the same breakthrough as Nikki. They had different healing stories, and that's when I just started going through story after story. Right there, my mom was like, I believe. If Nikki Uchinski be healed, I believe I can be healed. I made this wall um, to encourage me. Mike Hesh, he's already done it. That was his big emphasis, and Hannah, that it was a piece of cake for Jesus. And then um, little Andrew, I loved him because he had cancer in every bone and she, the mom would say, Bones, I have good news for you. I was still seeing things in formulas and I would look at their story and try to figure out exactly what they did. The more that I had hope that God could do something, things got worse. Although the healing journeys brought hope, Vanya's condition worsened when she tried following them step by step like a formula. While searching for more answers, she stumbled across Elizabeth Murin, a director for Karis's School of Creative Arts, and a playwright whose musical, God With Us, spoke directly to her situation. I only touched the hem of his garment and here I stand now, free from my bondage, free. The Lord, my Redeemer, had mercy upon me. I just saw this love of God racing through time to get to me. I just really felt connected to God's story. It was mine. And so I'm like, I wonder if their website has any more about Elizabeth. So I typed in Elizabeth's name and she had just been a guest speaker on Women's Arise. Jesus said, it's good for you that I may go so I can send you the one that will help you, lead you, guide you, comfort you. Ladies, the Holy Spirit is by your side and he wants to be everything you want to let him be, okay? God has a destiny for you like it has a destiny for Queen Esther and like he has a destiny for me, but it's up to you, ladies. The way she would talk about the Holy Spirit was like, he was this person and I just was like, man, I want to know, the, I want to know God like that. Bought a notebook and I wrote, so what do you think about my diagnosis? And that's the first time I realized I had never asked him. It had been all these months and I had never asked the Lord one thing about, I just was like, oh, you've made me smart. You've given me all these great experiences. You just built this, this great house for me. And it wasn't his building at all, it was mine. And it was on fire. The Holy Spirit humbled me and showed me that the medical house that I built isn't the same as Nikki Ochinski's house, and it isn't the same as Mike Hesh's. If I tried to follow their way out, I would probably run into a wall because my smoking house on fire has a different floor plan than theirs. They didn't get healed the same way. It was always different, and they always showed the Word, and the Word was always the most important thing. I'm like, man, I really need to get into the Word. Andrew has a teaching of that we have to assure our heart with the word. Our heart will condemn us and our heart will say, well, you don't have solid proof that you're anything. Well, I would just get the word out and I would assure my heart, no, this is what the word says. This is my proof. That really like started in March 
and by April, I was a different person. As she renewed her mind with scripture, Vanya saw radical improvements and took a blood test in hopes that she would have tangible proof that she was healed. While waiting for the results, Vanya took her family to Colorado to see the Easter performance of God with us, where she met Andrew, Jamie, and Elizabeth, and told them her story. Andrew point blanked her and said, are you healed? I just go, yes, I am. And man, if I could have like um, pulled those words back or slapped myself, I would have, but I knew it was true. And I'm thinking, I had this really great mountaintop experience. I'm gonna go home and everything's gonna be perfect. The test results came back and they were the worst labs I had ever had. Something rose up on the inside of me and it said, this isn't you. I burned my test results and I had a confidence to stop all my medications. I'm a nurse. I get it that that's not a good idea. <laughs> but I had peace and it was it was the Holy Spirit that was walking with me and holding my hand. In your born again spirit, you have raising from the dead power. It could be one inch away from a cancer that is destroying your body, but God has already given you healing. You just have to get it out of the spirit and into this physical realm. And that's what faith does. Today, Vanya is walking in her complete healing and is continuing in the Word. Her entire family is experiencing God's love like never before, including her missionary parents, who now share Andrew's messages in the country of Mexico. We've seen miracles all along since the beginning, these 28 years. But now it's different. We expect it. It's a winning difference. We're, we're winning with testimonies now. With her schedule no longer filled with detox therapies and doctor's appointments, Fanya is now the mother she has always wanted to be. And with the company of her family, spreads the gospel every way she can. Several times a year, the Currys do the filming for Julianne Hartman's Healing Journey Conference, where Vanya works side by side with her Healing Journey heroes, including Nikki Ochensky. There's a labor to rest, and then there's a complete rest. And he, we, we walk through both of those in our healing journeys. We, we walk through those because he's already done it. The Currys also host Healing University at their local library, where they see miracles happen on a regular basis. As if that weren't enough, Banya helps Elizabeth Murin with the God With Us performances sewing the hems of the garments. As she lives life to the fullest with her family, Vanya realizes that none of this would have been possible without the support of our friends and partners. Those teachings, they were all free to me. And everything that I watched, it was because somebody else believed um, that God had given Andrew a message that needed to be shared. and. I am a recipient of that and a grateful, grateful, grateful recipient. And Vanya is just one example of the lives transformed by Andrew's free teachings. To our partners, we say thank you. Because of you, one woman who has suffered many things from many physicians received her healing when she reached out in faith to Jesus. And the best is yet to come. <laughs>